Hello guys, I hope you've been well. I uh, can say it has been quite a time before I uploaded something. I have been a bit held up. So today we want to do a compare and copper tutorial. I hope this will help you. Now the first thing that we need to do is to ensure that we have our STL files or our 3D models for the rock and also for the hopper. If you don't, if you want to get them for free, you don't want to design or you want to buy from someone, you can always go to this website, grabcardcam.com, and then you can look. As you can see, we have templates of tracks. And what you do, you just download it. So this is the work of other people. You can always support them just as you're supporting me in my channel. You can also go to another one, dwgfree.com, and then you can search your models. But this is not as good as the grabcard.com. Now, the next thing that we want to do, we already have our STL files and we already have our simulation as conveyor and hopper tutorial as shown. Therefore, we have to make sure our CAD files are in the same folder as where our simulation will be running from. As you can see, I have my model here, my conveyor hopper model. I have my rock CAD file here. Now, the next thing that we want to do is to change the units, you have to change the units for this simulation. Therefore, you need M2020 to change the units for measurements and velocity. You just have to come and change and make sure it like this. Therefore, the one that you're interested in is angle in degree, angular acceleration in degrees per second squared, angular velocity in degrees per second, length, make sure it's in millimeters, mass in kgs, and mass flow rate in kg per second. And then you say, okay. Now, the next thing is to add our bulk material like that. Then we can call it rock because that's what we want. Then under rock, we need to define its properties. Therefore, we change the Poisson's ratio to 3 and also we change this one to 1600 kg per second. And now the other one, shear modulus, you can just do 7, 1 e per 7 pascals. Now, the next thing that we want to do is to change the interactions and we change them like this. Therefore, the only thing that will change is the coefficient of resolution to 0 0.3. Make sure it's 0 0.3. Yes, now the next thing that we want to do, next thing that we want to do is to go now to create particle shape under rock template. Now we add particle like that. Now, at this point, at this point, we want to use our imported, our imported template. We don't want to use this. Therefore, this one we call it rock. We can call it rock particle. Now, we want to use our our template. And now, at this point, instead of using the three, we want an irregular shape. Therefore, we click edit, and then we want to import. Therefore, you go to import. And then you can see it's bring us to our rock card file. Therefore, once you do this, then you say open. Make sure it's in millimeters here. And now you leave everything as it is, everything default. However, if it was now in the analyst section, as you have done in the other tutorials of importing the bin group, to make sure that it's a very smooth surface, always make sure you import based on quality. Here also, you can decide to put size element size, you can reduce the smaller the size, the more the, the finer the, the mesh size, the, the, the smoother the surface of the rock. If you put rigid body, it just default by that, it's not as smooth. But for the purpose of the tutorial, we don't need it to be very smooth. Now, we say OK. Now let it convert. Yes, now it has converted. Now here we don't we want to know what shape we are using. Because maybe you might be having different different models, different rocks, different templates. Therefore, here we just name it as default as rock template instead of template new template zero. And then we say okay. Now the next thing that we want to do. The next thing that we want to do is to now to display the template. So you see, as you can see, if you had so many templates, they, they you'll have a several number of lists here. So we say a rock template, and then 
we say we generate particles. But remember here we put, we have three, three spheres here. And that might be a problem. Let's see. Now it's not a problem. We are okay. Now we have generated, as you can see, we have our template here. As you can see, the grid size, the mesh of the triangles, these triangles, they are the grid size of the cells. They are big. If you want to reduce, to increase, or to improve the fineness, now you, you go on size and bias and then you reduce the element size this is what i mean let me show you now let us import say open then limiters size and bias go to one let it be one like that and now that's new template zero we have our rock template we have a new template. Let's rename this to finer mesh. And then we'll see the difference between the two. And then we say, okay. Now, at this point, let us go now to modify shape doesn't apply now at this point. Now, here, put like that. Then you put finer mesh. Then you say generate, and then we'll see. What you're interested in is the mesh size here. You want to see if it will change. Nothing has changed, so I think it doesn't apply here. Therefore, you just remain with our rock template. Now the other one, we can delete. We can delete the final mesh one, like that. We say, okay, now we have only one template that yeah and like that now we're okay now let us continue to the next to the next part of this tutorial now the next thing that we want to do is to change our size distribution we want to change our size distribution therefore instead of putting fixed we use we use user defined like that and then here we want to add up to four times up to three times and then at this point at this point we want to do our additions here so you say 1.3 then you say 1.5 then you say something like 1.9 then here is a hundred let's say something like five and then we can say this one as 15 and then here we can say something like 26 and then the remainder is the remaining is 50 54 say 54 percent now it's a hundred and now you say control save now this will affect the size that will be coming in the simulation as you will see we'll have different sizes of the rocks that will be created now here you come auto calculation always do that and now we come and define our interactions now we only have rock and rock but you have already done that, I believe. Now, the next thing that you want to do, next thing that you want to do, remember that you can also calculate this manually, manual or from imported template. But here you want to calculate the properties from the spheres that are inside here. You can also use the template that you want, you have imported or you have created. Now, the next thing that you want to do is to add equipment material. Therefore, we add equipment material and we call it steel, like that. And for under steel, we create, we do 0 0.3 Poisson's ratio. Here we do 7800 as usual. Here we do 7, do 7 e power 10, e 10, and then we add our interactions as always. This is very very important. And now we change our coefficient of precision to 0 0.2. And then the rest you remain the same as they are and make sure you save your work. Now the next thing that we want to do now is to import our hopper. Now we add our jump, we import our hopper, our conveyor model like that. So we convert and then we say units millimeters as usual. So we just want it as a rigid body because there's no reason as to why we should put it fine. Because the finer the mesh, 
the more the RAM or the more the processor that you use, unless you want for accuracy. I will put it as default like that. Now, as you can see, these are these are model. These are model courtesy of EDM. EDM is a forum. Now, make sure uh, EDM has changed to Altair, so you should go and visit them online. That is. Now here, this is my belt, so I have to rename it to belt. And now here is my feeder or hopper feeder. And now here is my bin, collecting bin. Here is my guide, I can call it left guide guide prevents the part the rocks from falling out is the right guide yeah like that now once we do this once we do this the next thing is assigning the motions assigning the motions that we want and this will be in the next video yeah thank you